Hey there YouTube, what's going on? This is WRX Prater from Yahoo and Fixing. Today I'm doing a user requested tutorial on how to get objects to move to certain areas by simply tapping on the screen of an iPhone or an iPod Touch or by clicking a mouse button. Now because I'm on a computer I'm going to be uh, using the mouse button method but the method for controlling it via touch is exactly the same. This is of course another video that will go along with my joystick controls for the iPhone and iPad. Now, I've set up a, a little actor here. Um, called move to mouse and I've set up three different ways uh, that in which you can move one of which is a change attribute uh, one is a constraint attribute and one is an accelerate towards now please pay no attention to these game testing attributes that I've thrown in here these are just to help demonstrate the point now the first one what you're going to do is create a rule say when actor receives mount event mouse button is down drag in two change attributes and then select move to which is the name of my actor or dot position Dot x and dot position dot y. It'll come up as self dot position dot x and self dot position dot y, and then go into and click this, and uh, then you want to do devices, mouse or touch, depending on what you want to do. If you want to do touches, just do mouse or devices touches, touch dot one x and touch dot one y, and just move on from there. The second one is going to use a constraint attribute. Uh, I ask that before you do this, you wait till the end of the video, unless you just want to have all these on reference for you. The second one is a constraint attribute, and just do the exact same thing with it: self position dot x dot y, and the game dot x and game dot y. And the one uh, touch is down. Oh, what you want to do is be sure that if you're using this on a touch screen, that it's set to when touch is pressed, um, or inside the actor, depending on what you want to do. Uh, and you just want to drag in a constraint attribute. And the last one, do the same thing, and just do uh, accelerate towards. And you only do one accelerate towards attribute. Just select um, when, you, when you have the position dot x and position dot y for accelerate towards. Be sure that you select like the mouse position dot x, mouse position dot y, or touch dot x and touch dot y. Uh, and then just be sure it's set to scene. So let me go ahead and demo these three for you. All right. So we'll start off here with uh, the third one, which is the accelerate towards. So when I tap anywhere on the screen, it's going to move to that mouse position. So as you can see it'll try to follow the position of that mouse and, it, mouse and it's updating constantly. So, uh, let's see if we can get it back in frame. And we'll shoot it out here. Okay. That's the first one. That's the accelerate towards. Now the next one, we'll do the constraint attribute. So is that equal to one? And then we'll go on from here. You guys won't need to do this unless you've done exactly what I have here, which is demonstrating purposes. So this will just allow you to move it like this, depending on your touch on the screen. And it'll also move to your position like that. And the last one is if you're looking for a more simpler version of that, which is the change attribute. Um, let's see. All right. You should just, when you tap, it'll update the position, but when you hold and move, it won't do anything. So those are, the, those are your three main methods. If you have any more questions on this, please feel free to ask me. I'll be doing more user-oriented tutorials later. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll have more videos soon. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you later. Peace.